Okay. And uh, so damage on phone. And this is the same thing that, that I, I tell my girls. I got two, two young ladies, and I said, "Look, I want to be Think of, you know, look at your emotions. Look at your emotions? No, uh, you go through your emotions? Yeah. Let that be a feeling of how, what you need to do. Of what things, your body's when your body's telling you something's wrong, buddy. Something is wrong. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's, and so, <coughs> instead of, let's say, your wife calls you and is asking you for money. Yeah, and, and yeah, the, so the, the, the first thing that it comes to mind, like, what the hell, I don't want to give you money. It's like, yeah. you took all my money away. And, you know, or, or because of the force, you kept, you kept the majority of that, whatever, you know, I comes to mind, it, yeah. right? So you get angry. So one is like, okay, I got angry. Acknowledge that feeling. But then say, and then say, okay, well, uh, why am I really angry? Oh, look at the root so, so, yeah, okay. why, so what is it that made me angry? angry? Don't just not that you're just angry, but look at why you're angry. Yeah, why am I angry? And, I get off the and, and then think about it like, oh, I'm angry because of this. And and also think, well, wait a minute. If I get angry, I am giving her my energy. There you go. Okay. Energy I want to give her uh -huh. yeah. So that changes your mood in terms of... But but in the meantime, in the meantime, yeah. you can also put together your... Uh, your your happy, like your happy eggs in the sense, or, or happy points, or your points. Oh, your points, you got your happy so, points, yeah. So, one of the things that I enjoy is going to museums. Oh, I enjoy I racking them, them. Yes. I ball. enjoy working out. There you I go. Enjoy, I've enjoyed, you know, uh, helping my mom. So, when I start getting angry and I know that I acknowledge it, I think about the things that are making me happy. And that reduces my tension and so forth. Oh, I love that. And so I'm like, okay, why am I angry? And they go through that process, and then you know what? She needs forgiveness. And in my mind, I'm telling her, hey, X, Y, you know, I hope that you get the help that you need. And yeah. then, I, so that when I speak to her, I speak to her more calmly. And she's trying to get me to respond the way I know we would have responded. All draining the energy out of you. She's Absolutely. trying to bounce you out. Because, You're really giving to her, yes. Because being in the victim mentality uh -huh. has been normal season. For me, for oh, you, yeah, for see. them, and so to think of it in a different way, your ego is saying, "No, no, man, what, what are you doing? Yeah, what you, are you got to go back. You, you need to have chaos well, in your life." Yeah, but see, the thing too is we're we're real. We're we're, we're, meant to, we're taught to fight, but not the right way. So you talk to like defend yourself. So she's attacking you. You got I got to defend my ego because I'm a masculine male, and I'm not saying we go to get money feminine. You, you got to defend yourself. But you have to defend yourself under the right. Choose your battles. Absolutely. Choose your battles and defend it correctly. Right. Well, you got right. to. You got to choose your. You, you got to defend your energy. Yes. You got to defend your energy. That's so what's now, about. Yeah. Now I'm like, you know what? I'm. I'm I like good. that, brother. She called me. I'm really enjoying it. She called yeah. like, oh, you're not going to disrupt my my relaxation. You know, it's so good. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Don't. So that's so what I'm like. And, and then I, you know, I said, you know, I, I, and I, I did, you know, I did send a prayer for her. Yeah, okay. I, hope, I hope she doesn't think uh, you know that something's gonna happen bad to my to my daughter because yeah you know it's, it's a big game. Right? Right? Pray for your daughter, say father. So now I said some angels. To, I believe in angels, by the way. I have applied everything. Yeah. Yeah. For the longest time, I told you that yeah. I really feel guilty about not seeing my mom often. Oh no, no. yeah, okay, see, yeah, I hear and you. And so that guilt is also like weighing you down. Oh, shoot, I when you, you understand guilt. Sadness, all these things that weigh you down. Yeah. And so now I know what to do to unweigh myself. Yeah. So, lift it. so one is exercise. Exercise. Yes. One is what you said earlier. What's that? What is that? Hey, you know, I give myself a high five on the mirror every day in the morning. Yeah, I do. Yes. I'm they grateful. Do. Wake up in good mood attitude in the morning. Yes. I'm there you go. Grateful for the food that I have. We're breathing today. We're here alive. Just, you know, yes. This you know, just like say grace at table. I remember when I was a kid, we used to see it and we stopped saying it. Yeah. You know, or to get oh, back. I did too. And I get back to saying grace at the table. Well, so thank you. Well, now I say grace for pretty much everything. Yes. Well, that's right. And so now you live in a state of better breath. So right. now I know that my my energy, my vibration wow. is at a different level than hers. That is awesome. And so now I'm like not getting. Yeah, you're up to your energy. energy yeah, I'm like vibration. I'm trying to meet people who are there. And if I do meet people who are not, I said, you know what? Yeah. We are vibing at different rates. Yeah, there you go, bud. If you want to vibe.
have with me, this is how you have to do. You know, yes. either you're like this or you're not, or you know, hey, I wish you the best, but you know, I'm not I'm not there with you. You wanna you wanna commiserate? I'm not I'm gonna not gonna support you. I'll help you how to get out of the victim mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am not going yeah, to be a victim. You know, like I said, this guy named Steve, he's still a victim. He's still so sad. This is how you defend yourself and says how you gotta do this, but he's still under the victim mentality. Right? Well, you know, I hate to say to him, not to, not to insult him, he's not spiritual, he's not religious, he's still caught the flesh, thought of well, that. You know, flesh. he doesn't have to be yeah, religious. religious. Well, you don't have to, you think they can break out of this, even they, they, they can? They don't have to be spiritual, really? Okay, so so you don't have to, thank you, because I was wondering, you have to have some kind of form of spirituality, even if you believe in some other I actually believe in the Father and Lord, but if you don't, that's, like I said, you know, but you don't have to have spirituality to break out, really. Come on. Well, it helps. It helps, helps, but if, it's like everything. Yeah. You know, if you run versus walking, you will burn more calories, right? Oh, that's true. But any type of walking will be healthy. That's true. And so that's the same thing for spirituality. If you have a strong faith, it will help you reach your goals. Yes. It will help you reach yes. your goals, but for you to move out of there more quickly. Yeah, if you I don't, agree. you can still get out of it. It'll take you a little bit longer. I got you. And, and, well, uh, yes. I tell you, I, and some can actually trap you even worse, though. You have to be careful. Some religions will get you, you know, well, you, you, you're just meant to be, just let it go. You're going to be, you, you know, you're going to be abused the rest of your life. Just take the abuse from your, your wine, you know, your formal life. I mean, don't get trapped to by the spiritual. Somebody said, you know, I'm sorry, it's just way the, uh, you know, employee. But I'm going to ask you a question because I really like this. I don't want to go back to say what's together to this other topic. But I can forgive. I now have forgiven her and her family. And all the mess, but I can't forget bad things. So I try not to think about the past. The first bit, I, I see my, my flying kites for my kids where we were happy. And then when she had destroyed my wishes with my kids. That, I mean, that moment. No, so, she, didn't, she didn't destroy it. She, yeah. What's her name? A Janet. Janet. No, Janet your James. Name. Oh, Kirk James. Kirk James. Kirk. She yeah, didn't destroy it. You didn't build it strong enough. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yes. You didn't build it strong enough. Because like if, it. if it was built, if it was built strong enough, yeah. it doesn't matter what they would have gone. I see. Right. Yeah. And, and that's what you know. That's and that's why. And once again, you're still in that blame mentality. If you're blaming, I am. If yeah, you're yeah. blaming people, I'm blaming the person her. that first yeah. has to accept responsibility for yes. not building something well. Is, is you I take ownership of it? Yes, Absolutely. I'm right. I'm not. You're right. And I, and I, I did take ownership and I of it. Responsibility in terms of doing the yes. necessary things that you need to do, whether it's you being strong enough, you being happy with yourself, yeah. you being able to go to those steps, so that you're able to give at that love. You're able to to enforce it. You know what? Well, that's true. Because I'm, a, I, you know, I've gotten. I'm not all the way there. But I blame everybody. I blame God. I blame, you know, I blame this. You know, it's your fault. This happened. That's wrong. I blame everybody. I blame all my friends, my family. Said you weren't there to help me through this, get, you know, this right. It's not their job. See, I blame it. It's, it's me. I didn't take ownership of it. Seriously. I blamed everybody. I said, oh, you did it. And I didn't blame my mother for law. I said, Mom, it's your damn fault this ended up happening. You see? It was all my own doing. Let me tell you, but when you're in that hot seat, yeah. that's the easiest thing to do. Oh yeah, blame others. Yes, blame others. And, yes, and that makes you feel better because you remove you, you remove the blame from yourself. Oh yeah, you're right. Somebody else. And so right now, you know, if my ex blames me, I don't care. Yeah, let her blame her. Yeah. I always tell my my. Uh, I told you everything's my fault. She, I had to get over that. She's like everything was my damn fault. It was you know, my God. You, oh, you, I'm not, you, it's so crazy. Using an example, if I had put the trash cans, I'm just using this example. I know what you mean. You know, she, she backed in the trash cans because she went too far to the left on a curb, you know, three feet back from the driveway. She'd come in and say, I can't believe you dumb bitch, you know, you, know, you stupid. She goes, you know, she goes, I ran into the trash cans and almost did the damn car, you idiot. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. No, well, if you should have looked at where you're driving, she blamed me for that. She goes, so, you should so use your head if, about, yeah, yeah sorry. So, so what if everything, I told you everything that, like that. that she was, if you knew that she was damaged, yeah. Would you still look at it the same way? Well, no. If I knew she was damaged. Yes. If you know that that internally she's damaged, internally she, you know well, she's off a rocker. Yeah. Would she's you, off a rocker. Would you still feel the same way? You mean feel the same way as? If she told you the same thing. If you oh no, I'd say no. You're blaming.